What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, we're going to talk about what folding phones need to do to get to the next level, AKA mass popularity, something akin to a regular candy bar phone, something like this. What do they need to do to get there? And I have a list of things that I think will get them there. And I still think we will get there. I just think we're, you know, four to five years away from it. I think most people will buy some kind of folding or flipping phone. But without further ado, let's jump into the video. So the first thing that needs to happen to folding phones to get to mass popularity is Apple needs to create one. A lot of people, Apple makes up a huge percentage of sales in America and rest of the world, and they need to make a folding slash flipping phone. And if that never happens, then you're probably looking at folding phones maybe never becoming huge. Um, a lot of people buy into what Apple does as a company in terms of the technology and uh, things that they provide. And if they come out with a folding or a flipping phone, it's going to be absolutely huge. People will flock to this. And especially with Apple not really changing much of anything in terms of design over the last 15 years for the most part, it would be a great big uh, boost in popularity to their brand and also the brand of folding and flipping phones. So I think Apple truly, and there's rumors they are, going to come out with a flipping tablet or folding tablet within the next few years. And then I would say a phone, it's probably gonna end up being some kind of folding phone, more so like a flip four. Next, the price has to come way down. We're still, at least in America, to get a folding phone, if it's not used or whatever, they come out at 1800 bucks for the most part. We really need to get down to closer to a thousand dollars. Realistically, maybe $1,200, but in order to get to mass popularity, you have to get the price much, much lower. Now, whatever that means, it has to get there. Um, but I think if you get into the thousand or less than thousand, especially for a folding phone like this, you're in better hopes of getting to mass popularity. Obviously, uh, flip phones are already under $1,000, and even for those, I think they would need to get into the six to $700 range in terms of a really good flip phone to get to mass popularity. But yeah, for folding phones, definitely about a thousand bucks. Now for folding phones, they need to get thinner. They need to get lighter. For me, I'm used to all that stuff, but a lot of people put a lot of weight, no pun intended, into lighter things, into skinnier things. They just do, you know, they want that experience. So it's like literally holding nothing in your hand, but you're still getting a great product. And I think if you provide, especially a thinner, you know, less bulky hinge and things like that, um, you're gonna get there and you're gonna see, people are gonna think, oh, that's really sexy. I still get, you know, wowed when I bring this phone out and people see it, they're like, oh, what phone is that? That's amazing, you can do this and you can do that. That's crazy, that's awesome. But for people to actually buy it, you know, one of the things I think they're still gonna have to see and feel is they're gonna have to make it seem feel smaller, you know? People want sometimes a smaller device, and if they can do that with this, um, you know, with the thinner and with the, uh, you know, thinner and the less weight, then I think you're halfway there. Physical reliability needs to massively improve. I think I've literally broken every one of these phones either because it was their fault or my fault, and it just needs to massively improve. It has to. Um, you don't see that, everybody breaks phones, don't get me wrong, it's not like candy bar phones like these don't break, they do. But, you know, I can drop, I'd feel a lot more uh, safe about dropping both of these phones with a case on from 10 feet in the air, 15, 20 feet in the air, and have this one probably not break or not be really damaged at all versus this. I would feel like this is gonna be like, oh God, this thing, that thing's gonna break. It has more pieces, it's bigger, it's more fragile. It's just part of the game. And I hope we can get to a space where, you know, Samsung and these other manufacturers can create some a massively improved reliability with these phones. To go along with that, we need free insurance or really low cost insurance for these phones. Um, and also, if you do break it, it has to be a lot less in terms of price. We have to get there. And if they offer that, I can see us getting to mass popularity with these phones. And then lastly, we need to see multiple variants and multiple companies build these. Now we have a bunch of companies already build these, but we need like literally everybody that makes phones to make these phones so that there's uh, more, more companies and more people buying these phones so the cost of materials goes down. And then also having multiple variants, a budget version, a pro version, a plus version, whatever it may be. So you have all these different pricing tiers to suffice and make 
multiple people happy for these types of phones. We need to get there. And that would, again, massively help with the overall sales and popularity of folding and flip phones. So let me know, did I miss anything? Let me know in the comments down below. Where did I get everything right? Let me know that as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.